Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. You're here with Diva. I hope you're all safe and healthy in this time. So today's figure cart reading, it's the usual. Every month I have this at least uh, twice or not even, just once. So it's more the question of how does this person feel about you, okay? So how you have a person in mind, so you just kind of tap into that person's dynamic. You try to center yourself, obviously, and not to try to project your own um, self on the person your own opinion or your own discernment on the situation. So um, we're just going to tap into perhaps some insightful, uh, you know, tarot reading. I don't know, okay? I'm going to try reading it the proper way uh, and you'll see if it's going to resonate. Now, if it does, you can definitely like, subscribe, hit the bell, you know, share the video whichever way you want. You can donate if you want. The coffee site is down below. I am um, still giving private readings, but look contact me only if you don't care what i'm gonna say to you okay um i want it to be that way okay it's all gambling work definitely it might be useful as it might not be and it might take me forever to send it to you i don't collect payment until the video is ready okay and it's normal for me not to respond to you you have to give me at least three to four days not even more than that sometimes and I will appreciate it. I will appreciate your patience. Uh, it's only if you feel you need to find me. Only if you feel the need to, you know, see my own, you know, discernment connected to the situation. And uh, deal with it after. Okay? But um, overall, if it's something palpable, like why are they not uh, communicating with you? It could be. Okay? You can come for any kind of reading any kind of question but just be advised i'm not psychic i don't have certification um i'm just diva okay and i'm definitely worthy of that price um so if you are interested in those uh the private readings you want to get a private reading from me the description box is down below okay just make sure to read the terms of services and uh, if you're comfortable, if you're ready, if you want it, if you need to seek for it, you seek me, okay? Um, it's like that. Uh, I created a Celtic spread. If you want me to read it differently, you can definitely ask me to do it. Or uh, anyways, okay? So if you're interested, you come. If you're not interested, you're really already not, okay? So if you want to like, like, dislike, dislike, comment down below so that can support, you know, you can support me that way on YouTube. Only if you wish to support me, that is. And um, let us start. So you have Pile 1, uh, which is the Golden Universal Tarot. Pile 2 is Fountain Tarot. Pile 3 is Millennium Todd. Okay, you have Pile 4, which is Marielle Tarot. Just put it here. Uh, it's normal you will not see them. Just keep them in mind, okay? You have Pile 5, which is Telema Tarot, right here. And Pile 6 is the Etheral Visions Tarot, okay? So choose with your intuition. You have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6, okay? So take your time. You can definitely stop the video. Go back in time, perhaps, and stop it then and choose with your intuition okay so we're ready for pile one welcome to your reading i hope you're all safe and healthy in this time so let us see how your person feels uh towards you in this time okay so whenever you're kind of watching this it's definitely timeless um so how do i feel towards you So the animal is the snake, okay? The snake in reverse. With the vibe, it's fertility, 
change and one more sacral chakra so fertility change and sacral chakra and you have the snake which is in reverse uh, I want to create here in this situation. It's either create, either heal the dynamic connected to you. So what's the main situation? You have the Queen of Swords with the Knight of um, Wands and the Four of Pentacles. So you have Four of Pentacles with the Queen of Swords in reverse. And you have the Knight of Wands on a physical level. Okay. So um, your person is more... Um, serious about you uh, than you expected or the person is more serious about the situation than you believe it to happen okay on a physical level how they're feeling is more that it's just an adventure or the vibe you have of your person is that it's just for fun it's just for a one night stand it's just for you know the sake of having fun kind of thing but deep down underneath I'm more strategic thinking okay I'm a more strategic thinker okay more strategic okay and logical plus i'm holding on to the situation big time with you so you have more important than you think you have okay uh your challenge with the six of wands is or their challenge with the six of wands is to definitely succeed uh here in this situation why because they definitely want to give you a try i want to change the situation but i want to change it properly it needs to be fruitful Holy shit, you have the initial, which is the chariot. In the middle, you have the three of um, pentacles. And in the near future, you have the, ma the magician with the ten of wands. Ten of wands, I didn't want to take it, but I took it. Okay, so, and the uh, middle, middle section, it's more uh, below the deck. I'm sorry. You have the eight of cups. In what way? Holy mother is closed. <laughs> In what way? I wouldn't commit to you. Do I want to commit to you or I don't want to commit to you? I want to commit to you. Okay, so I, I want to court you properly, this one. Yeah, I want to court you properly. It's... <sighs> I need to trust myself one second. Holy shit. Okay, I'm not sure if it's serious or not. No, I, I'm sure. Okay, I have the major... I'm going to go with major arcana dynamic, this one. You think I'm not serious, but I'm quite serious. Okay? I'm holding on to the situation. You think I'm not serious about you, okay? Or I'm not interested in you, but... I am, genuinely. Like, you think I'm interested in flirting, but I'm interested more than that, okay? Like, I'm... My vibe is I want to create something with you, okay? Like, I want to hypnotize you. I want to, like... Because the snake is hypnotizing dynamic, because I go to Mowgli, you know, like the jungle book kind of dynamic. But if you're going more spiritual, you know, it's more, you know, it has more healing creation gravity potential vibe to it so i'm more serious okay i'm very serious okay i'm more i'm very serious you don't know to what point i'm serious okay um i want to give you a big ass try i definitely want to give you a big ass try my challenge is to succeed here okay like make it a successful situation with you uh in the initial it's more like uh i definitely faced you head on Okay, like, I faced you head on. You saw my shadow and my light side, okay? Like, it's more simple. You saw me for who I was. I, I kind of traveled towards you. I traveled towards you in the past. 
in the present moment, we're collaborating with each other, we're building with each other, we're working on something with each other, okay? Or there is marriage involved here, you'll know. Um, or we are communicating with each other. So you and I are communicating properly, okay? Like I'm talking with you, etc. And in the near future, what the... Um, the Magician and the Ten of Wands. I want to understand what the Ten of Wands is. Hardships. Um, Yeah, I have the Empress card here. Okay, so I have the Emperor and I have the Empress, but the Emperor is not in the pile. Okay, you have more the Magician, you have the Chariots, and you have the Empress here. The vibe I want to go to, okay, it's more, I want to feel more fruitful about our relationship, okay? I want to change the relationship so that it has more a flow to it, okay? So it's, you're comfortable with me, I'm comfortable with you emotionally. It doesn't need to be sexual and all that kind of stuff. This one, it's more, I'm interested in you, but more than sexual, okay? It's not just sexual, even though you're seeing it that way it's not just sexual interest this one this one is more i'm logical and i'm holding on to the situation and i'm kind of like showing you who i really am okay and i'm communicating with you and in the near future with the magician and the empress on a physical level in the between you have the ten of wands which is also the meaning of the ten of wands is the five of swords uh, five of pentacles five of pentacles is being left out on a cold but here in this dynamic with the ten of wands the ten of wands is not you're feeling out in the cold so that you need to work for the burdens because you have responsibilities right so if i want to be in a relationship with you i'm aware of I need to kind of manage and manipulate the burdens and the rejections that come with being, you know, your partner perhaps, or the hardships uh, and the sacrifice I need to put uh, being that person for you, okay? Now, if this is a romantic or a courtship dynamic, or it could also be that I'm manifesting uh, you to be somebody fruitful in my life, okay? So it could be more business connected, this one. As it could be take you as my wife or take you as my husband or be pregnant with your children and manifest that situation. Even though it is a road of hardship or it is a road full of obstacles, which is definitely part of every journey you take on, be it its career, be it its emotional, everything of the that sort, it has this kind of dynamic to it. So how your person is feeling is that they definitely want to change the relationship but a more flowy dynamic. Like, I want to change the connection with you to become more emotionally satisfying. I want to genuinely make this connection fruitful kind of thing. Be it it's friendship, be it it's business partners, be it it's dating. This one dating because they i definitely want to give you a try this one and i'm being patient at it which is driving you crazy perhaps or it's driving me crazy that i want to give up on the situation but i'm not perhaps okay So, pile two, whoever chose Fountain Tarot, welcome to your reading. I hope you're all safe and healthy in this time. So, let us see, Fountain Tarot, how does your person feel towards you?
Okay, we're ready. So what's the vibe? You have magic with soul time. Okay, magic with soul time. Interesting. Interesting. Um, uh, the animal I have is Hulk with Fox. Oh my god. Okay. This is a sly. I was going to say son of a bitch, but... <laughs> okay. Okay. Interesting. Let's see. So what's the main situation? You have the eight of coins with the ace of cups and nine of wands with eight of wands you have eight of wands with eight of coins you have ace of cups and you have nine of wands it's hilarious um their challenge is the nine of cups the reason why it's that way is the Nine of Swords with the Moon card. Okay. You have the Nine of Swords with the Moon card on a physical. They're very anxious. It's... It doesn't, it doesn't like suit anxiety I feel here the reason why it's this way does not suit the fox and the hawk okay those animals they, they they are not really anxious that much are they no they're not so in the initial it's more the fool okay in the middle section you have the eight of cups with the three of wands Uh, in the near future, we have the Four Swords. Like, Four of Wands. I'm tired, okay, guys? I'm sorry. I'm just fed up. Okay, how do I feel I'm definitely enchanted, okay? Like, I'm enchanted or I'm kind of, like, um, approaching the whole situation wholeheartedly, okay? When I'm saying wholeheartedly, it's, like, my emotions, my pattern, my passion, my behavior, my thought patterns, everything are here, okay? Like, I'm very reflective by nature, okay? I'm very reflective. And I want to say action oriented, but connected to you, I, I act, I act, but, uh, like I'm anxious. I overthink. I follow my intuition, but I overthink. Okay. So how they're feeling is that they definitely want to give you a try. Okay? Like they want to work hard on really having fun with you and flirt with you and seduce you and be single, you know, that kind of dynamic flirt, scandal, like flirt, entertain, um, talk, get to know, um, 
like, okay? It's good vibes, okay? On a physical level, I want, like, on an internal way, I want to do these things, okay? On a physical level, the Eight of Wands, I'm, like, okay, I want to do these things, okay? But I'm not perhaps doing them properly, okay? What you're seeing overall is just that I'm passionate about you, okay? Or I'm passionate about what you're doing. But, like... I want to flirt with you. I want to, you know, talk with you. I want to work hard with you. I want to, you know, play with you kind of thing. But perhaps I'm not doing it. Why? Because I'm overthinking, okay? But my passion, my intuition... It's either my intuition is causing me anxiety, but it's not the right way to go at it, okay? I'm overthinking it. That's why my intuition is being, like, okay... I'm intuitive overall, but then again, my, the reason why I'm not properly, you know, flirting with you, seducing you, you know, interacting with you is because I'm overthinking. I'm a bit ashamed of myself, perhaps, or I have certain baggages, or I'm very protective, or I have a protective self def uh, look, I have a self-defense. But I'm intuitive. That's how I feel, okay? And my challenge is to be happy, okay? If my wish fulfillment is to kind of like flirt with you, I have to do it so that I can feel fulfilled, this one, okay? So it's like <laughs> Like my challenge is to smile and be happy, okay? Be fulfilled emotionally here. Which I'm not, because I'm overthinking when it comes to you, okay? So your person's blockage is that they're overthinking, okay? So if you see them, like, being passionate about you, understand that my passion about the thing you're doing, okay? Be it you're playing something, or be it you're, like, um, we are in a group, or be it I'm passionate about something. I'm passionate about it because, like, convert the passion level to... If I really had the guts to not overthink the situation, I would definitely flirt with you. So if I'm passionate, it means that I want to flirt with you, but I'm not flirting with you. So it's kind of like equal that, okay? So if you want to flirt with them, try flirt with them, okay? While they're very passionate, okay? So kind of understand that their body language is kind of more subtler. So the more passion they have, the more they're interested in you kind of thing, okay? So... Yeah, like that. Okay, so <laughs> this is how it is. So to help your situation more, if you want to kind of get to know them better, when they're very, very passionate, talk about that element of passion they have, okay? And that's how the more passionate they are, it means that they want to flirt with you. Not that they don't want to, but they're overthinking. Okay, so <laughs> just understand that about your person okay um you have the fox and the hawk because the fox it's an overthinker but it's a trickster okay but the trickster here is overthinking way too much that's that they're kind of okay like just understand that your person has the ability to see things from a higher perspective okay and they can see things the way they are too okay and they can use the whole situation to make it work for themselves okay but with you perhaps there's a certain blockage okay i don't know how your vibe is i'm just kind of giving you what the person's uh dynamic is connected to you okay so i don't know who i'm talking to but this one they are this type they're the fox and the hulk they're very in empowered animals so your person is empowered it's not that they're not it's just that they're overthinking or they have a self-defense that they 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 believe they have to keep on still if they don't have that self-defense mechan like mechanism they will not be who they are perhaps you have to wake up to that, perhaps, okay? It's not that I don't like you. It's not that I'm hard. I am hard to get, but not for you. It's like that. I'm hard to get, but not for you, okay? So it's understand that here, 
I'm hard to get, but not for you, but I need to play hard to get because that's my signature, perhaps. That's my self-defense, but you don't, you don't have, like, I'm overthinking. Remember that, okay? And just know that they are hard to get. Not for you, though. Okay, so you have to wake up for that. <laughs> it's hilarious the way I'm reading it. So with the full card here, um, look, I definitely jumped this one. Okay, connected to I jumped. I already became foolish. Okay, that's what I'm saying. It's very funny because I'm overthinking. I want to do these things. But it's not part of my personality, perhaps not part of who I really am if you ask around about this person if you don't know them that well you'll see that they're a hard cookie to crack okay they're not available to every man or female out there they're not approachable even okay so because the fox and the hawk I see things the way they are as I see them from a higher perspective okay and I have a lot of tricks under my sleeve and I'm very empowered okay so kind of remember those and i jumped with you okay i became foolish i took the leap of faith with you already okay in the present moment with the three of wands and the eight of cups um look my emotions are definitely very transparent you see them as per them okay as per them their emotions are very transparent towards you to the point that you can definitely have a new beginning with them. I already show you what my emotions are on a physical level. And in the near future with the Four of Swords, it's more like, look, I'm chilling. <laughs> I'm chilling there, okay? So it's just overall chilling and I'm waiting for that. You know, I'm, I kind of like... Just give me that opportunity, okay? Like, I want to give you a try. You don't understand to what point I want to flirt with you. I don't understand to what point I want to work hard on this. You don't understand, okay? And um, if I have a... I'm over... Look, if I'm very passionate, convert that to the amount of I want to flirt with you, okay? But I'm not flirting with you. Because my personality or... I have a defense mechanism, okay? But I, I'm i hard to get, but not for you, okay? So just remember that phase, phrase, okay? I'm hard to get, but not for you. If you want, come and get it. That's the word. Come and get it. Nah, 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 nah. <laughs> kind of song. Selena Gomez, perhaps. Okay. I'm hard to get, but not for you. Remember. Okay? That's it. Now, a pile um, three, whoever chose Millennium Todd. Tara, welcome to your reading. I hope you're all safe and healthy in this time. Uh... So, how do they feel for you? So you have Otter in reverse, it's a cute card, and you have Conception. Okay, what's the main situation? You have the Star in reverse. Their challenge is the Will of Fortune. The reason why it's that way, it's the Princess of Pentacles, the initial is the Eight of Swords. 
in the middle section, you have the Nine of Wands with the Empress in reverse and the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Practically all subtle body, okay? Like subtle energies. And you have the Nine of Cups energy connected to you. You have the Knight of Swords with the Knight of Wands and the Aeon. Well, look, um, how they're feeling about you is that um, they're conceiving things, okay? So they're pregnant with ideas. Overall, I'm hopeful about the situation. Um... I have faith, okay? Like, I'm... Um, my intuition, perhaps... It's either intuition, it's just that um, inner feeling, that just knowing, you feel good... No like, you know things, right? You know things and you feel good knowing them. Dynamic, okay? So with the star card, your person has a lot of faith in this situation, okay? Um... Yeah, they have a lot of faith in this situation. With the author, it's more happy go jolly. I don't want anything, okay? It's just happy to be there. It's just a lovable kind of dynamic. And conception is more, I feel good when I think of you, perhaps. It could be that way. Thinking of you make, gives me hope, perhaps. It's like that. And the reason why is that way the Princess of Pentacles, it's more like I feel harmonious, I feel more balanced with your presence. Uh, you give me options perhaps, or I have options because of you, okay? It's like that. Or, yeah, it's like that. It's more like I want to assess the situation properly and I feel grounded in it. Uh, my challenge with the fortune, it's more to kind of... Um, you know, deal with the challenges of every day. You know, day by day, there are challenges. So with the fortune, it's more like hold this, you know, the the, play, the game of fate, perhaps. Face the game of fate here. What does the fates have in store for me kind of dynamic? So your person is more like fatalistic or if it's not like that, it's more like they have more hope in the situation. They are conceiving things or they're pregnant with ideas. They want to nurture this relationship. They want to kind of nurture you if this is a more romantic dynamic. If it's not romantic, it's family oriented, it's friendship, it's sisterhood, brotherhood kind of thing. It can definitely be uh, very nurturing. Like, take care of you, nurture you, or, like, take care of the emotions connected to you. Think good stuff about you, okay? Like, think, do, uh, talk good things about you. Overall, why so? Because you're definitely the harmonious type of person, or you're more reliable as a person, or you're a good person. That's why I'm able to kind of, like, feel this way with you, okay? So, in the initial, in the past, connected to you with the Eight of Swords, it's more like uh, I was blind to the fact that... Um, I was blind to the fact that I was going in my ego, perhaps, connected to you. Um, I didn't know you that well, or I kind of judged you to be exotic. Um, how I felt towards you. Like, I heard many things about you, but then again, I didn't know them myself. Like, I didn't know you, but I judged you kind of dynamic. It could be that way. I was conflicted, but this one, with the Eight of Swords and the Millennium Todd, I kind of always link it with, you know, having many opinions from different people and uh, just relying on them and not thinking about it. Because with the Two of Swords, it's more like not seeing, not feeling, not being interested, being more indifferent to the situation. So how I felt towards you was that I was more indifferent to the judgment of other people it could be many ways it could be i was indifferent to the judgment of other people i was indifferent about like i didn't care about you but i heard things okay so in the past this is how it, i felt towards you in the present moment with the nine of wands the empress and the ace of pentacles um how i feel towards you is that i definitely want to give you a try 
Okay, so give this friendship a try, give this fr um, sisterhood, brotherhood a try, or give you a try, if you're a woman or a man. Um, with the Empress, it's more like nurture you on a whole other level. With the Nine of Wands, um, it's more like, I'm not approaching you from a sexual way, though. Okay, so just remember that it's not passion-driven, this, this one. It's more nurturing, it's more... Um, calmer, it's more, you know, zen vibes overall. It's more zen and more, I know what I'm doing. I'm more mature dynamic. I'm more mature. I'm more satisfied with myself. I'm self-reliant. I'm, I'm self, -indep I'm independent overall. So, um, I don't expect you to please me. I don't expect things from you that much, okay? It's just, I kind of, like, with the Nine of Wands, like, I'm approaching you very sanely, okay? Like, I'm approaching you in with balance because you have the sun and the moon. Uh, you have a crescent here and the sun in the middle, okay? And I'm kind of reading this in the form of there's an Ace of Wands with the Eight of Wands. So the Eight of Wands is passion, and the Ace of Wands is definitely giving this an opportunity with uh, passion, but subtly, this one. It's all internal. So I definitely want to give you a try and see um, what we can have together. And in the near future with the Nine of Cups, I'm definitely making it happen. Nine of Cups. Because I feel successful. So I'm definitely going to make it happen. I'm on the, I'm on it, baby. Okay, so I'm def. there's some stuff happening, going to happen, okay? Um, they won't allow a missed opportunity. They're going to communicate with you. I was going to say sooner or later, but they're going to communicate with you. I was going to say honey, but... I'm going to communicate with you. And I'm going to succeed at uh, making that happen. Definitely. <sighs> so pile four whoever chose Marielle Tarot welcome to your reading I hope you're all safe and healthy this time so let us see how your person's feeling towards you So you have the stingray and you have the butterfly and a uh, miracle. So what's the main situation? You have the four of discs, 
with the strength card in reverse. The Fool upright and the Three of Swords eh, upright too. <sighs> My challenge is the King of Cups. And the reason why it's the King of Swords in reverse. And the initial you have the Ten of Wands upright. The Justice card in reverse. The Six of Discs upright. And the Page of Wands upright. In the middle section, you have the Knight of Swords, and in the near future, you have the Hermit card. Below the deck, I have Four of Wands. So the four of discs, the strength card in reverse with the full on the physical level. You have butterflies here, and you have butterfly there, okay? So this is what popped to my eyes the most. There are dragons here, and you have dragons there. So perhaps your person has dragon tattoos on their body, perhaps, or butterfly tattoos. Uh, they could be very zen, or they're very spiritual, perhaps. Um, they could be also Chinese. Okay, or Asian, because that's the vibe, Japanese even, okay? More Japanese, like a Yakuza vibe or something of the sort, but a dragon is a uh, dragons, okay? Water dragon, perhaps, um, you have lions here, you have um, owls here. What else do I have? I have a genie here. You have the justice card. Um, there's a lot of major arcanas in this pile, okay? You have the fool, you have the shrink card, you have the justice, uh, and you have the hermit card, okay? Um... I have the king of swords and the king of cups hmm stingray with butterfly and you have the miracle card as the vibe 33 is the number but how do I feel towards you I feel good okay um It's more balanced, okay? It's a light it's a light energy though. It's it's not heavy energy. 
uh, it's hilarious I'm saying that with all these cards, but the dynamic here is more lighter, okay? It's more like dreaming, um, it's more healing, it is more healing. It's like, you know, meeting a genie, okay? With the Six of Discs, it's that vibe. There's a genie lamp here, there's a lamp. There's a lamp in her hands, and... Uh, it's Archangel Gabriel, perhaps. I, I mix them up, but I mean. Anyways. And there's a tree of life behind, okay? So it's more Zen vibes, okay? It's more Zen. You have Stingray, it's more balanced, and Butterfly, it's more lighter, okay? Butterfly, it's a symbolism of rebirth, it's a symbolism of metamorphosis. Uh, it has many meanings, as it could be very light and um, vol volatile, stuff like that. With a stingray, it's definitely, um, you know, it's a stingray. It travels a lot, and it's like an angel in the oceans. The oceans, angels, perhaps, but they sting a bit. Um, same thing like a dragon, too. Um, so let me just start reading. How do I feel? With the string card and the full string card in reverse, it's more like whenever I'm with you, I kind of feel like I can tame my ego, okay? I don't need to go on my ego side. I feel more comfortable and I feel more accepted, okay? Like with the full card there, I feel light, okay? So whenever I'm with you, I'm light, I'm myself, I have no baggage whatsoever. With the four of discs on a physical level, it's more like um, I always talk about travel, or I kind of like um, talk about the journey or the places I've been to. With the three of swords uh, upright on a physical level, um, it's more how I feel towards you is that... Um, My, my own heart has torns, okay? Uh, my own heart has torns. I'm more the type of person that might kind of um, have their heart on their sleeve. Legit. Okay, so I'm more lighter. I'm more, you know... Like, I, I have my heart on my sleeve, regardless of the doubts. But I'm not saying this is a hopeless romantic dynamic. This one is a person that has torns in their... It's like the Petit Prince vibe. The Little Prince vibe. Um, it nurtures itself, but um, the rose is very important for him or her kind of thing. And the reason why I'm like this with the King of Swords is more like, look, I'm a free-spirited person. That's the vibe overall. They're free-spirited, nothing really, like, it's a light feeling, this one. It's not attached, it's not bonded whatsoever. Um, I don't feel bonded by you, okay? Like, I don't feel like you, you, you have expectations of me, okay? That kind. And, uh, like, even if you had expect, I'm the type that I just do my own thing kind of thing, Okay? And with the King of Cups, uh, my challenge with you is to kind of embrace my emotions, perhaps, or to kind of uh, tap into my own emotions. It could be uh, emotions connected to stuff, which I don't do that much, as I might do so. Okay, but become more emotional, perhaps, with you. I'm not sure. I'm just going to put the card back, but I'm just going to check what vibe it is. Okay. For some of you, this person, the challenge could be to, you know, give... Perhaps they might like you, but uh, their, their challenge here is to kind of seduce you, perhaps. It's to kind of give form to the relationship, perhaps. It's like that, but it's more lighthearted, okay? It's like, it's very light. It's zen energy, this one. It's a freedom-loving type of guy or girl. So if they're going to date you, they kind of want, want to give it form. But then again, uh, because they like their own freedom um, and, uh, you know, 
they don't want anybody to change them. They want to give you that blessing too in the relationship as well. Okay, so it can be romantic as it might not be. Okay, um, in the initial with the Ten of Wands, the Justice card, the Page of Wands, and the Six of Discs. So, look, like the Page of Wands. Uh, how I feel towards you. With the Justice card, I see you as a very, you know, balanced person yourself, okay? Like, I see you very aligned with yourself. With the Ten of Wands, you're a very um, heartwarming, golden type of person. With the Page of Wands, it's more like you fight for the things that are important to you. And with the Six of Discs, it's more you're a healer, okay? So, how do you feel towards you is that being in your presence is very uplifting it's very um nice and in the middle section with the nine of swords knight of swords it's more like how i feel towards you is that you are powerful okay like you do have power you do have this in insight you do have this you see things from a more deeper way you know like the owls are symbolism of seeing in the dark okay it's atina it's uh you know, it's it's a it's a nocturnal animal, but then again, it's an animal here that sees through the dark, as it can see in the light too. So, um, how I feel towards you with the Knight of Swords, it's more like I want to get to know you better. I want to kind of see you for who you are. I want to kind of like dig deeper inside of you to kind of see what type of person you are. Okay, but intensely like that. And in the near future with the Hermit card. Um, in an internal way, uh, like the ocean. Okay, so there's the ocean here. <coughs> Sorry. It's like I want to guide you, okay? Or I need your guidance. Or how I feel towards you is that I need to do some... Um, soul searching connected to you <coughs> sorry so this is how they feel okay this one is more lighter it's very light to the point that it's like the person's freedom is important to him or her and uh, they wish to give you the same it's like because this is how they are this is how they feel towards you too It's a man or a female that values their own freedom. So they want to give you your own freedom too. Um, and they might have lied to you, but it's it's more like it doesn't create bonds that much. Okay? It's, it's a person that's more freedom free. Okay? It's a light like that. It's not heavy on energy more lighter it has no strings attached kind of dynamic a bit okay and it likes you the way you are okay so there's somebody who appreciates you this one i appreciate being in your presence i appreciate learning from you i appreciate interacting with you um i want to teach you certain stuff too it could be that dynamic okay that's it pile four okay now pile five whoever chose telema tarot welcome to your reading i hope you're all safe and healthy in this time um so how does your person feel about you towards you for you those dynamics okay
So how do they feel towards you? you have the two of pentacles with the six of cups in reverse. So these are together. Just need to check them out a bit. Two of pentacles. With the Six of Cups. I'm not going to say fantasize, but it's overall that dynamic. You have the Star card in reverse as my challenge. You have the Two of Cups here too. You have the Moon. There's a lot of fantasizing, okay? And the reason why is the King of Cups. King of Cups, but um, the symbolism of a fish in front of the heart, it's a sly dynamic of it. I'm channeling fickle vibes of it. I'm more fickle um, with the Five of Wands. Yeah, I'm kind of like assessing, looking at my options. Yeah, the Four of Swords. Uh, it's more Zen vibes. It's a good card. It's a meditative card. In the middle, you have the Wheel of Fortune, the Wheel. Mm, I'm not getting good energy, though. I don't know if it's the type. Like, I'm kind of, like, seeing new cards here. Color is not really... Um, harmonious. The colors are not harmonious. And you have the Emperor in reverse. Um, give me time, guys. It's just that I'm kind of getting used to the cards. Page of Swords. Um, Page of Swords. I'm kind of reminded of the Light Visions Tarot. Butterflies. Butterflies. So you might have chosen a light visions tarot a few times connected to this person. You have the four of pentacles uh, in reverse too. And we have the world card in reverse. You have the Emperor with the World, and Four of Pentacles, and the Page of Swords. In the middle section, you have the Fate card. But the Snake is, it's more a Robinus, but, um, like, biting its own tail... Look, a few months ago, okay, I kind of saw that when snakes are very stressed, okay, like snakes are not in their own element, they start swallowing their own body, okay, because they're stressed. Here, it should be the Robinus, but the Robinus bites its own tail. It doesn't swallow it, perhaps. I'm not sure. You have the Sphinx there with the wings, and uh, it's the wheel that's turning. So it's more like the earth that's turning, the cycles of life, the, you know, eclipses, uh, the different phases of the moon, the phases of the, the world, uh, turning, spinning, you know, it's all circular. It's all round and round and round. It changes. It's always in movement kind of thing. Uh, what am I going to get? Bear with me, okay? You have the two swords. Look, there's so much I'm unaware of. Like, I'm not, I have, look, 
the vibe overall it's wishy-washy okay it's not even wishy-washy i haven't made the decision yet okay like i'm thinking about it let me see what the spirit animal is you have the black egg holy shit okay black egg and the vibe is emergence mm. Is there another one? Yes, there is another card. Dynamic. Look. I think of you. I do. Okay, I, I do think of you. Okay, I think of you. I think of you. Just know I think of you. I fantasize about being in a relationship with you being in a proper relationship with you it's just that like with the two of pentacles it's i'm i haven't made my decision but i'm fantasizing i'm visualizing could be i'm visualizing because you have the black egg okay and the black egg is the vishuddhi okay it's the ethereal dimension it's the ether it's the balance it's the center of peace and balance and harmony in the body okay it's connected to your ears it's connected to your vocals um that kind i hear i talk i interact kind of thing okay so and sound is also connected with life okay it's ethereal somehow it's it travels in frequency right it travels in the air is it's a sound dynamic so like how i feel i'm visualizing i'm perceiving i'm perhaps thinking about it i was gonna say talk about it but with myself okay like i'm talking to myself about you kind of situation so it's a, a person that's no that has an internal dialogue with himself or herself okay so at the six of cups like i feel intimate with you okay i want to juggle feeling intimate with you kind of thing and the reason why it's that way with the five of wands it's more like Four of Wands with the Ace of Wands, okay? So, perhaps I do like you, okay? I uh, do like you, okay? I would fight for you. I would, okay? So, yeah, I, I do like you. I do, okay? But I just haven't made up the mind. like that okay and even if it's okay the the element of i haven't made up my mind should not be uh scary for you okay it's a good thing that i want to juggle being intimate with you but the intimacy is more deeper than it seems it's not f it's not fickle it's not fickle But when I look at this card, okay, the fact that there's a fish in the hard space, like for me, the fish can be many things, okay? If we're going biblical, the fish is life, okay? It's the fisherman's life. It's, oh, fish was life, you know, it's like, it was the main source of food, it still is. And this is the king of cups. So it's like they're using a fish in the form of, you know, symbolism of a cup. But for me, the king of cups, I kind of see it more like a Cancerian man. Okay, like a Cancerian. Pisces, look, Pisces is too fickle for me. Okay, so. <laughs> and here there's a fish. Okay, so there's a fish that's more Pisces dynamic. So, like, this Pisces woman or man, or this person that has heavy 
Pisces uh, placements. Uh, feels intimate with you, but at the same time, he or she wants to juggle a bit. Okay? So, it's like that. It's juggly. It's like mutable. It's not concrete thing. Okay? And uh, with the star card um, being here, their challenge is to get out of their uh, fantasy. This is how we're going today. It's hilarious. I'm channeling Pisces today. There's a lot of cups energy. There's one, two. Um, not a lot of it, but the main situation is six of cups. You have the king of cups and you have the star. There are cups in that card. Um... There's a lot of purple color, okay? It's up there, okay? Purple, for me, it's crown chakra, which means that it's up there, okay? It does not have any, like, uh, groundedness to it. Okay. How they feel overall with the black egg, it's all sound, okay? It's all visualization, perhaps. It's all ethereal. It could be as well as it could be energetic, but then again, don't hallucinate, okay? You need immense mastery to do those kind of stuff, okay? If ever we're going astral traveling and stuff like that, um, I want to have faith that those who do it have mastery over it, and those who don't, then definitely you'll just know about it, but you'll know if you want to believe in it or not, okay? So, um, overall, with the black egg, it's more those dynamics. And um, how they're feeling or the vibe they go in, it emergence and dynamic, is that they want to um, change the dynamic here, okay? But there's a lot of, like, fantasy up there energy here. Um, up there, okay? So, <laughs> and it's more fickle. Uh, than it seems, okay? So, what I feel concretely, let's say, is that I fantasize about you, but I want to juggle you. So, I might have two options, or I like the fact that men fall in love with me, or women fall in love with me. And that I have many options, or I have people that want to be in a relationship with me, kind of dynamic. My challenge, though, here is to nurture the relationship properly with you. Okay, not juggle the situation, but to properly, you know, nurture you, get to know you better, and um, wake up to your own emotional patterns, perhaps, here. Um, like that. And uh, with the Four of Swords and the initial um, energy, it's more how I felt is that I meditated about the pain or the past or the issues I had in the past connected to my exes or if you were my ex then this is definitely uh it you'll know um but I'm meditating I'm kind of going into balance with the four of swords I'm trying my best to you know be um mindful connected to you um so I'm trying to be mindful, which is very nice. With the wheel in the present moment, it's more like I've left everything out to the fates, okay? Because perhaps I'm stressed out here, okay? Like, I'm a bit anxious about uh, this situation. And um, I'm excited about it, but I'm anxious about it too. It's like that. And in the near future, with the Emperor, the World card in reverse, it's more like I want to have control over the situation. <laughs> so how I feel is I want to have control over the situation. So um, give myself this new opportunity to kind of like found something proper with you, but I'm thinking about those things. So on a physical level, how this is 
all being manifested is that your person is going to speak to you and uh you know when they're speaking with you um they're gonna try and you know seduce you and show you to what point they are kind of eager uh in being curious about you. so when i'm talking with you you're gonna realize that my face is very focused on your face okay with the four of pentacles i'm definitely holding on to this okay like i'm seriously holding on to this and the key to my success is that i'm holding on to you so i don't know this dynamic is different than the way i think in general but this is how i think okay so i fantasize in general and I like to have options, and I like to feel like people like me, and I have a fickle nature to me, which is completely normal if I'm a Pisces here, okay? Uh, I go with the with the wind, okay? And, uh, you know, I'm fatalistic, I believe in spirits, or I believe in, you know, spirituality, and I believe in twin flames, and definitely finding that soulmate of mine, and you could definitely be that one kind of dynamic here. Okay, so I could be a very spiritual girl or a guy, okay? And I like fantasizing and I like to have my options, like, open. Really, this person likes their options open. They love the idea of being in love, for some of you, because they're very emotional and their emotions can change, okay? And their challenge here, connected, she is to kind of nurture getting to know what your emotional language is too because this one if this is a pisces their emotions don't match at all okay it's like it's, it's new emotions it's new it's a new person every day emotion wise okay like they're they have mood swings um they're very controlling sometimes sometimes they're the happiest person you'll know and then sometimes they're really not so it varies from person to person, okay? Like, I'm not saying all oh, Pisces are like these. They have gorgeous, dreamy eyes, okay? Which can enchant you or hypnotize you, okay? Because it's water element we're talking about. It's like Scorpio and Cancer, okay? They're very charming. They're very emotional. They're very sensuous. Uh, you feel like you're dreaming of them, okay? Pisces is the moon for me, okay? So when we're saying moon, it's definitely emotions are there. It's ties and... All that kind of stuff. So, your person is very interesting on full moon days or new moon days. Or different phases of the moon. Every day it's a new uh, adventure with this one. Okay, so, um, it's like that. This is how they're feeling. They haven't made up their mind, okay? Like, they're kind of, like, agonizing over what they want to do with you, okay? Um, this is overall a female. Okay, if this is a guy, then this guy just doesn't know what to do with you. But they like to feel wanted, this one. I like the feeling of being wanted. And I'm very spiritual, where I'm kind of into astrology or something of the sort. And, you know, it's definitely... I'm not going to say psychic, because for me, this is not psychic. But if they consider themselves a psychic, then definitely it is. Just that, for some part, I feel like I would definitely lose myself in my emotions with this one this one is like in tune with the moon all the time pisces hilarious i don't know why it's pisces there's the moon there and it's definitely pisces dinner energy it's either you're the pisces here or this person is the Pi Pis pisces and this person is in the arts of esoterics okay they're very spiritual they believe in twin flame their spirit or their they kind of consider themselves witches or something of the sort okay i channeled somebody a tarot reader perhaps um and she likes to be loved, okay? So it's that dynamic. And being fickle is not a bad thing, okay? It's just a tendency. I w I'm fickle too. So when I'm saying it's fickle, it's connected to Pisces, okay? It is connected to Pisces energy. It's changeable, okay? It's moody like that. It goes with its emotions of the day. It's high up there as it could be low like shit, okay? It varies from day to day. So I'm saying moon phase here, okay? It's not even Cancerian. Cancerian has a different type of mood, okay? It has a crabby kind of dynamic to it. 
fish fish goes with the ocean's waves okay like fish is fish it's it's sly it's fickle it changes it doesn't remember anything <laughs> It, it has a goldfish memory kind of dynamic. I don't know. But I know not every fish has these tendencies. But this is what I'm channeling. Okay? This is what I'm getting. Okay? So I kind of forget what I said to you the next. Like, I'm all for romance and emotions and, you know, feeling loved and passion I like those things, okay? It's not that we don't like, they don't like passion and stuff like that. They are all for passion. They're all for, you know, like um, a romance of a lifetime, feeling like people are around them, feeling like people give them value, they're being useful to people, and people are doing certain stuff for them because it's them. It's kind of like that, okay? So... This is about how I want, I feel about you. I want you to make me feel special, perhaps. It could be that way. Or I like the intimate uh, connection we both have together. It's like that. I like it. Uh, but I don't know what I'm going to do with it. It's like that, the, the energy. And in the near future, it's kind of like thinking about like getting their shit together about the whole situation and hold on to it. And see what they're gonna get. Okay, so I don't know if this is gonna be an ex or this could be definitely the one you want, but uh, how they feel is more fickle. It's, I don't know. Diva's intuition is saying perhaps the person doesn't know what they wanna do with you. So be it I say it's short term or long term, you guys will see what is gonna happen. Okay? I would say this is more short term because your person is approaching you with more fickle dynamic as if like you need to love me and I need to feel loved here. Okay. So you need to love me for the sake of me because I'm me and I'm enchanting and I'm lovable and all that kind of stuff. And um, after having fun with you, spending quality time with you, court, be courted with you, blah, blah, blah. Then I might decide if I want to hold on to you or not. Okay, so it's more like that. It's like it's it plays aloof. That's the word. I'm playing aloof. I'm aloof with you. That's how I feel. So I still want you to seduce me. I still want you to be interested in me. I still want you to kind of like find me attractive. Hypnot try to hypnotize me and stuff like that. I want you to still do that kind of thing. Do it more. I haven't made a decision, but I'm definitely worthy of your seduction. Be it it's a male or a female, it's like that. It has dreamy eyes and it kind of like looks at you as if you're it, okay, in that moment. I think Pisces have that ability to kind of make you feel like you're the most gorgeous male or female <laughs> I've ever seen and they're in love with you, but the next day you see that it's definitely a different person, you know? It's like that. <laughs> it's like you were dreaming when it happened. Where's the person? You know, it's a bit like that. Okay? So that's it. That's uh, pile five. Now pile six, whoever chose as Royal Visions Tarot, welcome to your reading. I hope you're all safe and healthy in this time. So pile six. How does your person feel towards you? How do they feel towards you? 
Um, you have the Five of Pentacles with the Nine of Pentacles. Interesting. And two more. You have the Page of Swords and the Two of Cups. So Five of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles, Two of Cups, and the Page of Swords. Page of Swords is in reverse. You have the Five of Pentacles. You have the Nine of uh, Pentacles, and you have the Two of Cups. My challenge is the Six of cups in reverse with the full card uh, upright but I kind of put them both there you have the reason why is the lovers card with the tower card In the initial, you have the Five of Cups with the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. In the middle section, we have the Ace of Swords in reverse and the Queen of Cups. How do I feel towards you? And in the near future, you have the Nine of Swords. What is a spirit animal? Mouse and spider. Um... And the dynamic. Communication and tantric journey. How do I feel towards you? How am I going to read this? I don't even know. Okay. Page of Swords in reverse with the Five of Pentacles. Upright, the Nine of Pentacles. Upright, and the Two of Cups. Upright. For some of you, you remind me of my ex, okay? It's like that. It's, uh, you perhaps might remind me of my ex. Uh, <laughs> I remember a guy who used to tell me that I looked very much like his ex-girlfriend from the behind. And I was like, okay. Um, it's like that. It's that dynamic I'm sensing, okay? For some of you, it's more, it's not about you that I love. I used to love a person or I used to be with somebody and you remind me 
a lot of that person that I genuinely liked or a person that broke my heart, this one, okay? So for some of you, there's that X concept of it, okay? So if they mentioned it, take it, okay? If I did not mention it, don't take it. It's just stupid talking, okay? But for some of you, you remind me of my ex or you remind me of the girl or the guy that I used to have a crush on or I liked, okay? So, but overall X here, okay? So you have those with the five of pentacles, <laughs> like... Okay, so let's say you're trying to forget your ex. Okay, we're going that way. So if we're saying you're trying to forget your ex, but you meet somebody who's very much like your ex. Okay, so um, it's like that's the tower moment because you remind me of my lover. Okay, and uh, how I feel about you is that it's like with the page of swords, the truth is I don't want to see it. Okay, I don't want to see the fact that you remind me of my ex, okay? Or you, you remind me of that person I used to like. But the Five of Pentacles, the Nine of Pet Cups, and the Two Cups. Like, right now, I'm single, right? Now, you remind me of my ex. Perhaps you're single too. But because you remind me of my ex, I don't want to date you, okay? I don't want to love you kind of thing, this one. Okay, why? Because... It's like history is repeating itself again in the form of another person. <laughs> you know, it's like that. But my challenge is to definitely get to know you better and go on this. You know, like not think of it perhaps as in the form of you're my ex. You're not my ex. Even though you resemble my ex kind of thing. It's hilarious like that, this one. And um, in the initial with the five of cups upright and the ten of pen look like i i didn't want to see it okay like even if it was happening even if you were flirting with me even if you came and you talked to me uh or we needed to interact with each other or something of the sort uh i like i was I was stable, okay, but on a physical level, I didn't, like, I shied away, or I kind of, like, blushed a lot, or, you know, like, I, 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 I hid my face, okay, it's a very much those activities, okay? Like, I did, I avoided you a lot, kind of thing, <laughs> okay, it's like that. Uh, or I wanted to avoid you, but then again, perhaps... You keep thinking, okay? They kept thinking of their ex. But they knew you were not their ex kind of thing. It's like that, the dynamic, okay? In the middle section with the Ace of Swords and the Queen of Cups, like, let's say I flirted. Okay, like even if I flirted with you, I, I was holding that truth, okay? So this one is like, okay, this is a very simple. Let's say you dated a guy or a girl. You liked that person a lot, okay? Like you loved them, but things didn't work out with them. But you liked them, okay? You like your, your ex, okay? Like your boyfriend, your girlfriend, and they broke up and it was the end of the world kind of thing. Um, or you're no longer with that person because of X, Y, Z reasons. And now you're meeting a girl or a guy that's very much like them, okay? And you're like, you're trying to avoid this person because they remind you of the person you loved, right? But they're not the person you loved kind of thing. I'm feeling it that way with you. And I'm kind of like going with the flow. Now, f at first I tried avoiding you as much as possible, okay? Where I was kind of like hiding myself, okay? She, you, you kind of saw that I flustered, okay? Like you saw that I kind of like lost... I was avoiding you overall, okay? I was really avoiding you. 
even though I felt staples in myself, I was kind of telling myself that it's like, my love needs to be loyal towards the other person because now this is a replica of him or her kind of thing. So, but I know you're not a replica of the person, but you, rem <coughs> you remind me of him or her. <coughs> My God. Like that. And, um, for some of you, I, I'm having like a, I'm feeling like squeezes in my throat, okay? So I kind of might have, I, I, like, I'm anxious now, okay? So, <laughs> like, you remind me of my ex, this one. This one is, you remind me of my ex. And I kind of like, I'm torn in between many things, okay? Like, I want to give you a try, but... I don't know if I like you though, this one, or I'm liking my ex through you kind of thing. Okay? So it's like that, this one. And the dynamic is more like with communication and tantric journey. Okay? It's more like a karma, karma, this one. It's karmic dynamic, this one. It's karma. Um, it's unfinished business with my ex. Okay, I didn't probably get a proper closure with my ex, let's say. And this one, it's coming in the form of you. This is not what I want to say to many people, but this is the dynamic here, okay? And my then my emotions are more like I'm shy or I want to hide my emotions. And on a physical level, I'm acting more calculative. I'm acting more like uglier or more intimidating. A bit because I have a lot of baggage I need to release from my ex with you because you remind me of my ex this one okay so whatever I need to heal perhaps I will need to heal them with you this one or it's like that now this one it's one way okay I'm gonna give you a different one because not everybody is like your ex, their ex okay so this one, you remind me of my ex. That was the first energy. Now, the second energy will be how I feel towards you is that um, deep down, I'm more shy type of person, okay? I'm a shy type of person. And on a physical level, I look like Godzilla, okay? Like, I'm shy inside, but on a physical level, I look dangerous, I look intimidating, I look calculative. I look like, a, you know, um, a widow, okay? A black widow kind of thing, okay? Like, I'm a more dangerous type of female or male kind of thing, okay? But deep down, I'm very anxious, okay? Like, it's anxious, it's, um, you know, cutesy, it's shy, it blends in the, you know, it doesn't want to be found out kind of thing, okay? Like, nice. Um, so how I feel towards you with the page of swords, it's more like, okay, like, I am interested in you, okay, I'm interested in you, but, um, on, on a physical, like, I'm, like, the truth is I'm interested in you, but I don't want to look at it, okay, so... It's more like you're the truth. The truth is I'm interested in you, okay? But instead of looking at it and figuring out how I could kind of like, you know, communicate properly with you and get to know you better so that you can, and I could definitely date and court each other, I'm like, I'm, I know what the truth is, but I'm kind of like denying it, okay? It's like that. But I'm holding it. Okay, so it's not that I have put it on the table. I'm holding it, but I'm not looking at it. Like, I'm thinking of it because I'm holding it, but I'm not... It's like that. That's the dynamic inside. But on a physical level, you're thinking that I'm kind of like uh, giving you the cold shoulder, even if I'm single. Um, 
and I'm looking for love. So for some of you just know that they know that they're interested in you, but they're kind of denying it. But on a physical level, how you're seeing it is that I'm giving you the cold shoulder, even though you know that I'm a single woman or a single man who's searching for love kind of thing, okay? And why is it this way? It's because with the lover's card and the tower, it, it's more like meeting you was unexpected, okay? Meeting you was unexpected, okay? And um, my challenge connected to you is to be more not in denial of the truth and you know start from there okay like just uh, start a new leaf and uh, start with no baggage okay like no baggage just be there with you and get to know you play with you be friends with you you know date you comfortably okay like that now in the initial energy with the ten of pentacles in reverse and the five of cups now five of cups on a physical level it's more like i was hiding i was not looking you in the eye okay i was pretending to avoid you but deep down underneath with the ten of pentacles i like i was observing you properly Okay, so for some of you just understand that my behavior and the way I am feeling inside are very different. Okay, um, on a physical level, you're thinking that I, I kind of like was shy, I was avoidant, it was more a missed opportunity, etc. But deep down underneath, no, I was more, you know, like stable than I seemed. Okay. You read me to be anxious. You read me to kind of be disappointed or something of the sort. But deep down, I was not that way. Okay, I was more in control. I was more, you know, I had my shit together deep down. Um, in the middle section, in the in the middle section. Now, like your person is holding the sword still. Okay, so um, in the middle. Or in the in between, or how in how I feel about you in the present moment is that I'm um, seducing you now. Okay, like I I have my emotions covered up a bit. Okay, like I'm kind of going with my emotions. I'm flowing with my emotions, and um, like I'm flirting with you. Okay, like I'm flirting with you. <laughs> but uh, deep down when I'm flirting, it's more like I'm holding that sword. Okay, like I'm holding to that truth element. That I'm interested in you. And I'm kind of like, sacrif like I'm, I'm spilling blood for some part. Okay, because the way the, the sword is being hold, uh, hit, um, held, it's more like I'm holding it from the sharp end, not the below. So, you know, sometimes the truth is um, harder to speak than uh, it seems, okay? It looks, it's more easier to say it than doing it. But here, this one, it's more like I'm holding the side that it's like painful. So, look, I'm being sharp-minded here overall. Even if I'm like shy as a mouse, but I still have that calculative nature of the spider, okay? Um, okay, I, I have my shit together as well, okay? It's just that uh, they're a bit shy and anxious connected to you or connected to themselves, okay? Because um, they want to deny the truth, but then again... They're holding the truth in their hands. Okay, so it's more like, I know you're the one. Okay, I know you're, I like you. Or I know you're fit for me kind of thing, okay? But I'm trying to deny it because <laughs> I was not expecting you. I was not expecting to meet you. I was, I was, it's like surprise this one. It's like surprise, you know? Let's say I taught you sometimes, but I never really thought I would have you in my life kind of dynamic too. 
like that. Okay, so it could be that way too. I thought of you or had synchronicities about you, but I never really thought you would be there. Okay, whichever way it is. There every month, there every week, there for that event. And I interacted with you. You know, it's a surprise element. It's faded somehow, perhaps, for some of you. It's karmic. For some of you, it's karmic, like the ex situation. For some of you, this, I know a truth. Okay, I feel it. I see it. It's in my hands. It's in my freaking hand. It's, I'm denying it for some part. <laughs> okay, and the truth is I'm interested in you. Or you're the one for me. Okay, or I feel potential for you and me. But I'm holding it. I'm in denial of it. Or I'm wishing to deny it, but I'm holding it. Okay, so I'm holding it. I'm not putting it on the table and saying, my lash. It's more like I'm, you know, looking at it, but I'm not. I want to look at it, but I need to study it more. But it's like that. This one, it knows you're the one. Okay, whoever you are. I know you're the one. But, uh, like, I'm too anxious for now. Okay? Like, I, even when I'm seducing you, I'm kind of, like, spilling blood, this one. I'm getting out of my comfort zone, this one. It's more like, you know, when you need to sacrifice some some blood to sign a certain type of ca contract, let's say, where blood needs to be spilled, sacrifices need to be done for a certain ritual kind of thing. Uh, but I'm kind of, like... Putting my own blood, this one. And in the near future with the nine, I'm, I'm anxious. Okay, like, I don't know. I'm anxious about what people are going to say. Or I'm anxious about the fact, what if you like me too, you know? <laughs> what if this is really it, you know? This is, this is the deal. We are getting married perhaps okay so you have those guys i don't know you do what you want to do with this but uh for some of you it's like 50 50 okay if you had an ex or they had an ex you know that they dated people okay um you're very much like their ex, okay? Um, and for some of you, it really is not connected to an ex. It's more, I know you're the one for me. I know you're the one for me. I know a certain truth connected to you with me, okay? And I'm kind of like holding it. I'm not doing anything though. I'm holding it. I'm kind of, I should be seeking for it. I should kind of like, you know, like work on the strategize about it right but i'm not doing anything of the sort because i'm anxious okay it's like that because meeting you was unpredictable okay like like that okay so that's all I had for you guys, okay? I'm so sorry this was not fun, perhaps, for some of you. But um, this is it, okay? So have a nice day, and I'll see you on my next video. Bye, guys. <laughs>